Currently, we are experiencing Huiyan in a different level, a new context. Why Huiyan is still on one of your bucket list to travel this time. We give you the best of Huiyan, the lanterns, the people, the tradition itself, and why Huiyan is the best place for you to travel this time. Aside from that, we give you the information, the history, the culture, the tradition itself. And this time, we give you more of this. Stay tuned. Welcome to Vietnam. Huyan is also different by day and also different by night. What I meant is that it has a different vibes and feel on the daytime because you get to see everything on the broad daylight and also at night time you get to see those beautiful lanterns cascading all throughout the river and all throughout the town itself and that is the beauty in here you know you get two sides of Huyan which definitely will make your heart melt away this is exactly why Huyan is still such a beautiful place to travel and this is supposed to be a part of your bucket list right now we are still here on the river you know you can just stroll and walk all around here on a daytime and of course you can just walk freely without having a lot of things just across the street here you can also see a lot of restaurants in here so you can enjoy the beauty of the boats and the overlooking through to the river and this is exactly why this place is so much so popular because you know you can just have coffee grab some drinks food and sit down onto the side here and just enjoy the scenery we are still here on the side of the river and also here on the river there are river tours fishing or you can also rent a boat so you can you know do a day trip here on the long river and also look at these boats they're so colorful if you want to see and experience colorful boats like this come to Vietnam there's so much here as far as your eyes can see over there there are plenty of just you know traditional boats and they do a lot here you know they do travel arrangements and also giving you beauty of Huyan in a different levels I'm currently walking here on the side of the river of Huyan I just want to see how it looks like or what it looks like from this side and it looks like it's still beautiful from this area I mean there are a lot of um, local houses here and I think this is the place on the back side of the city a beautiful place to really enjoy your afternoon I'm now on the side street of Huyan so I'm taking my time here in the daytime just to feel what it feels like to be here on the daytime so currently at 11 o'clock so I wake up really early in the morning and have breakfast and the hotel's breakfast is just so amazing there's so much food to eat and to choose from I highly recommend this hotel that I've been staying with so giving you the opportunity to really understand that this hotel catered so much for travelers and it's also quite a big place to stay as well there's a swimming pool in there and a lot of things and also the receptionists are just so amazing they've helped you so much to really enjoy your day here on Huyan and giving you instructions where to go what to do and what are the things that you need to see here in Huyan
and as you get closer to the town to where the action is you will now experience the colors of yarn you know this yellow gold color which is a very significant color here I'm not sure why but I think because of the French influence this color you know the texture and also the architecture of the buildings itself the houses it's just telling you that there are still remnants of the old French influence here in Hui An. Just as you get closer to the town, you can also see bars here and onto the other side as well. There are a lot of restaurants in there where you can sit down, eat and also buy food if you're hungry. You know, everything here in Hui An, sometimes there are places that are quite really expensive but there are also places that are cheaper for you so it depends where you eat so you know when you're here in a yarn especially on a very touristic destinations then you know you gotta prepare something money and make sure when you come here make sure you have Vietnamese dong which is their own currency so it's easier for you to buy and it's easier for you to pay of course you can always just you know pay by cash so it makes it easier we are now heading to the famous Japanese bridge this is the ancient old Japanese bridge behind me as you can see we will be checking that place out because that is very famous as a very significant um, part of Huyan um, that icon bridge was also um, poured on the day back during the 15th century I guess or the 17th century please correct me if I'm wrong but that is the famous bridge here we're gonna walk that bridge and also see what's in there but that is the famous bridge, Japanese bridge here in Huiyan and it, sometimes it's going to be a lot of people here crowded, taking photos and of course especially at night time because this place, this river behind me that, this river this river will transform into the sea of lanterns at night just think of it a remarkable way to actually enjoy Huiyan at night this is sea of lanterns here at night for you to, to actually experience and witness them so let's go check out the Japanese bridge so we are now getting closer to to the Japanese bridge and yes look this significant old bridge here behind me look at that I can touch them if I'd like to because it's just here you know I'm making sure that I'm here earlier than later because on the daytime there's not a lot of people but at you know middle of like probably 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. This is gonna be full. A sea of people lining up just across this bridge. So this is the entrance of the bridge. Let's go, let's come inside. Come on. Ah, oh, look at this. It's so gorgeous. Imagine this was dating back in the old ancient times and then during this present day, you're still, it's still here and preserved. And now in the present day, I am walking on it. How does it feel like? I don't know. I think it might be a little bit of nostalgic to be here, but hey, it's worth a try to cross the bridge and feel the experience. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That's what it looks like if you're here. I was there earlier down there. Uh, it's the connections between the other side of town to the next one. And hence, that's the reason why they have rivers here. And I think this is part of the connection.
We are now heading to the market side of Huyan and so just be mindful of everything here. Um, there are still a lot of scooters coming in and out of this small street and you just have to be very very careful because you just have to watch out where you're going and of course keep your belongings with you because you know as a foreigner and as a tourist this is the place we're not really comfortable with going but if you really want to see the, the, the other side of Huyan this is the place there are still a lot of fruits in here look at that they're so good apparently they have so much things here they have everything that they have they have here in terms of vegetables fruits I don't know where they get it but I think they actually have I don't know how to how the production works here but I could see here that it, it's everyone here are selling a lot of things from fruits vegetables anything else from clothing and so much more When you buy something here, make sure you do bargain. You bargain because you want to have the cheapest price as possible because if you don't speak the language and also they know that you're a tourist, then there's a tendency that the price will go up and it's going to be cost costly for, for you. So you better make sure you know how to bargain. Get those bargaining skills so you can get the most cost as cheaper as possible no it's fancy it's okay and this one that's the other one i think that one i think that's yeah yes the two do one or night the market of so many trinkets you can find here there is a jade here jade and so many relics Make sure you always bargain because they put the prices up and then you know when you bargain then that's the time you get the very good price. Look at these. These are probably real stones. And that one too. Wow. I just want to say thank you for Jackie Vietnam Travel for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for giving me the chance to provide insights about Vietnam and experience. If you want a travel agency that will look after you during your stay in Vietnam, Jackie Vietnam Travel have a specialized tailor for your needs, for your friends and family. I will leave the link in the descriptions below and if you want your family to have fun, experience through your travel to Vietnam, Please book your travels to Jackie Vietnam Travel so they can cater for you for 24-7 specialized travel agency that will look after you. Their slogan says, if you're happy, they are happy. So what are you waiting for? Thank you so much Jackie Vietnam Travel for sponsoring this video. And we're heading now to the wet market and I, I am so impressed how the wet market looks like. I don't know. I. You know, when you go to an Asian wet market, you have the sense of, you know, you smell all those things, different senses, different things you smell. But this wet market is just, I don't know, it's so interesting to, to see that, you know, you don't smell that much of, you know, foul smell. Wow, this is what it looks like here in the wet market. They're selling fish, selling meat, everything. And look at that. There's prawns over there. There's also what? I don't know how they sell it. They sell it by kilos or they sell it by, by milligrams. So I don't know. So I, I haven't tried buying something from here on the side, but I just want to let you know and from your own perspective and also I just want to share to you what it looks like to be here on this wet market. Look at that. Wow. 
I can smell incense everywhere. Ah, just amazing, amazing. You know what is good about here is that, you know, when they see you filming them, they don't really bother at all. They, they don't really care, I guess. They just want to see welcoming you as, as a person, you know, sharing your ideas. And so you can also share it to the world what it looks like to be here in Huyan. And also when you're traveling, I urge you to visit this place because there's a lot of things going on here. You can also feel, and also know and how it feels like to be part of the locals here in Huyan. And you, it's just so beautiful. They have everything here. They have all the lemons provided here. They sell so much stuff here. The vegetables and herbs are so good here in Vietnam. This is the reason why you know the food culture here in Huyan are just so good and so rich with a lot of herbs because look they produce it themselves and they actually have it here and that's why it's fantastic and that's the reason why Vietnam is also the world's capital for food How do you collapse them? Okay. Yes. Ah. Beautiful lantern. Yes. A must in Vietnam. Yes. yes. <laughs>